County Extension agent, talking about uh, rain barrels. Rain today. barrels. Rain barrels. Now I, we've talked about them before, but mm -hmm. we've never seen how they they work. And with uh, this time of year, we run into a lot of so-called droughts. Dry you know? weather. Yeah, we're experiencing a lot of droughts. We're getting some rain showers in between here, uh, the last part of June. But uh, rain barrels are gaining a lot of popularity, uh, not only from a water conservation standpoint, but just for practical use. A lot of people will, will install a rain barrel for collecting uh, rainwater for use of their plants, water in their garden, uh, even irrigation. And so today we want to show you a little bit about rain barrels, talk about rain barrels and how you can put one in and actually how you can use those for your garden and water some other plants. And this is something that you can use at your your home, your your farm, Correct. your business. Uh, so let's just say at the TV station we want to have a rain barrel. Right. What would we need? You can start off with something real small, just like a, this is a 55 gallon barrel. They come in various sizes. You can get a large cistern where it may hold it, uh, 500 to 1,000 gallons of water. Depends a lot on your roof space, but a rain barrel like this, you sort of have to judge about how much water you can collect. Here we installed this on my home. Uh, it's, it's just barely collecting rain off about uh, maybe a fourth of the side. Uh, the area that's collecting rainfall is about mm, maybe 12 by 20. And so that's you know roughly about a, uh, 240 square feet. And so if you were to have a one inch rain, I estimate we could probably collect about 150 gallons of water oh. in one one inch rain. And so this, this thing would overflow naturally because it only holds 55 gallons. Right, that's ask, a lot of water. Let me ask you this. If you had, how would you fix it up to where you, you uh, in, in a big rain, we knew we had a big rain coming. All right, good question. How would you? Well, it, it can only hold 55 gallons, so we've got to have an input. We've tied it into the gutter system here with a little bit of a flexible uh, hose, and then we've got a little bit of a filter basket here. This, now, one thing to remember, there are about a thousand different designs of, of, of rain barrels. Uh, this has got a little bit of a filter system to collect any kind of trash or dust that may, may come off, off the gutter. And then over here on the left, we've got the same, got the same size hole. We've got about a four inch PVC pipe so that once this ba uh, barrel fills up almost full, any excess that will come in will run off and be distributed under, underground through the sewer pipes to keep it away from the foundation of the home. So we just tied it in, basically just tied it into my existing uh, gutter system. So if you wanted to have another barrel, how would you? You could actually hook two barrels together mm -hmm. or see we've got the faucet here one thing I, we're going to show here in a few minutes is I have another rain barrel at my garden, which is about uh, you know several hundred yards away, and we can transport and I can actually move this water, which I do. I move this water to another storage tank for for use. Mm -hmm. And but a lot of people will actually have several barrels or large larger barrels tied together. So when one fills up, they can transport and move it to another. So like I said, there's lots of ways to do rain barrels. Rain harvesting is beginning in popularity in a lot of different states. Not necessarily so big in, here in Alabama, but a lot of states that are really big into water conservation, reuse. Um, just, I'll, just I'll be, I'll be likes it too. A big, big expense of water, and they'll, they'll collect it. We're gonna go down to the garden now and see how we go use this baby. Y'all don't go anywhere. Um, this is what I meant about I transfer the water. My garden is not near my house, so it's it's down the hill a little bit. So we use gravity through a hose pipe to transport that water about, uh, you know, about uh, 100 yards or so yeah. down the hill into the, the barrel. So this barrel is now full. This is a 60 gallon olive barrel. It comes, you know, they ship olives in it. It's, hmm. It comes with a lid and all that is real. This, this is a very simple design that you can get and it comes with a, it comes with a lid. So it goes on like that right there. And we all we did was basically just add a screen to it as a filter system to be keeping things from it, and then add, just add the add the faucet. So mm -hmm. this is not a lot of expense when it comes to uh, making this barrel. You got your natural opening there already, and so we just put that screen in there for a filter, and rainfall can collect in here, or you can transport that water. You can even use this as part of that gutter system that we had just a few minutes ago, and cut, have the water go directly in here at the house. So and you can also you know, like uh, nail this this post right here and use it for a clever bird feeder. Bird feeder or water, water. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, so, all, so, so, so olives actually came in. Yes. Really? A lot, cool. Most of the materials, these barrels, uh, a lot of my Coca-Cola barrels mm -hmm. that you can get, this happened to be from you know shipping olives in that we were able to obtain. You look on the internet, talk to different companies, you can buy rain barrels. 
Some of them are very, very expensive. You go real cheap and just having all kinds of barrels. I've even seen them used with the trash cans, plastic mm -hmm. trash cans. So anything that will hold water can be used as a rain barrel. Use your imagination and save money. Absolutely. But on the on the uh, the same part, what are you garden? What are you lawn? I want right. I want to see how this I want to see how this works. Absolutely. So we're gonna we got it now hooked with a hose pipe. Next, now we're going to show you how we can use this water in our garden. Let's turn, let's turn the water on. Good. Turn the water on. We've got a hose pipe hooked to that green olive barrel that we just showed you. And now we're going to demonstrate the water coming through a soaker hose. So here we're, we can use this water. The pressure from that 60 gallon tank is enough pressure to just barely beat out water. And here we can water our vegetables or our flowers, whatever nice and slow which is what vegetables prefer they don't it's good to soak them from a rainfall or for irrigation but a nice slow constant water maintaining that moisture content is it, quite nice you see it beating up and you can just you know let it run as long as you want to enough to uh, to water your plants no power uh, they, they, no power no pump no not in this case we're just allowing the pressure from that, we've got it elevated a little bit, so that gravity allows for us a little more pressure as well. We'll flip here switches, and we'll actually show a drip irrigation. Drip uh, actually conserves a little bit more moisture, and you can you have in meters that are spaced. In this case, about every 12 inches, so. You're not watering a large space like you would with the uh, soaker hose. And uh, so these emitters will fill up and seep about in increments of about 12 inches or so. This is, this is, I'm, I'm really glad you took the time to, to show us this right here. And we hope you folks at home, no matter where you are, uh, will get you a rain barrel or two. Absolutely. Uh, Shane Harris can always be contacted in Tallapoosa County at 256 825 1050, that's the county extension office. Thank you for being with us, and I, as always, thank you for thank being you. with us.